Those who know Hungary are very much aware that one of the symbols of Budapest is the Danube, which divides our capital. The captivating panorama and impressive views of the Danube bridges are worthy of the visitor's memory. For the people of Europe, the Danube is not only a river, but a symbol of historical unity, since it unites the peoples along the Danube. For us, however, the Danube is even more, the symbol of how to facing our history. Hence, since 2010, the names of the lower Danube banks commemorate those Hungarian and foreign heroes who rescued those who were persecuted by the 1944 Arrow Cross terror in Budapest. Every European nation has its heroes who have preserved their humanity and helped their fellow human beings, even in this inhuman period. We can be proud of them, and so we have something to hold on to, even on such a difficult day of remembrance as today. I will mention some of them. Gabor Stelo, a Hungarian Lutheran priest, saved the lives of hundreds of orphaned Jewish children during World War II, and so the Yad Vashem Institute in Jerusalem honored him as one of the righteous among the nations. Raoul Wallenberg, the Swedish Embassy Secretary, saved the lives of thousands of persecuted Jewish people in 1944 and 45, and after the war, was taken to the Soviet Union, where he died under unknown conditions. Henrik Slavik, a Polish journalist, and Józef Antal, the senior, the father of Józef Antal, the first freely elected Hungarian prime minister after the change of regime, they helped to gather 30,000 Polish refugees, including many Jewish people. Following Hungary, Hungary's German occupation, the Nazis arrested and tortured Slavik. However, he did not break nor testified against his associates, so he was taken to the Mauthausen Gusen concentration camp where he was murdered. For us, Auschwitz is one of the largest cemeteries in Hungarian history. In the spring and summer of 1944, the majority of the approximately 440,000 Hungarian Jews deported from what was then Hungary were sent to the Auschwitz concentration camp and 80% of those arriving died. Our Jewish compatriots killed in concentration camps will always be missing from our nation. This is why we have an important place for Auschwitz and the International Holocaust Memorial Day, which we commemorate every year since 2006, along with the Hungarian Holocaust Remembrance Day of 16 April. Dear ladies and gentlemen, it is important for us to pass on our knowledge of the past to the future generations and to shape their point of view. That is why we have added the Holocaust Memorial Days to the high school commemorative days beginning with the 2000-2001 school year. Our aim is to raise awareness of responsibility in the younger generations, to accept and respect each other, to warn them that exclusion, hate speech, anti-Semitism are detrimental to our nation and that through these we are doing harm to our own souls. History is the sum of all the things we could have avoided, argued Konrad Adenauer. Recent anti-Semitic crimes in the Western world suggest that there are some who never learn from the past. In Hungary, however, there is no need to fear the rise of anti-Semitism, as we have taken a number of measures to prevent our Jewish compatriots from being subjected to violent, even verbal, atrocities or acts or an anti-Semitic nature that are increasingly widespread in the West. It is important to highlight that Budapest has Europe's third largest Jewish community and the world's second largest synagogue. Prime Minister Viktor Orban has several times declared zero tolerance policy against anti-Semitism and any incident has been promptly followed by high-level official condemnations. Hence, the Jewish community can always rely on the government's support and protection. In this spirit, we have successfully organized the 2019 European Maccabi Games in Budapest, and we introduced a number of particular measures. We enacted the National Holocaust Remembrance Day, established the Holocaust Documentation Center and Memorial Collection, 
ordered that the life annuity of Holocaust survivors shall be raised by 50%. In 2013, for the 70th anniversary of the deportation of Hungarian Jews, established the Hungarian Holocaust 2014 Memorial Committee, established the Holocaust Memorial Year in 2014, and organized the Israeli-Hungarian Ministries of Justice Conference on the Eradication of Hate Speech online in 2016. The Hungarian government pays special attention to the dialogue with Jews, to the processing and maintenance of her common historical past. We deem it as a priority to raise awareness of the Jewish history and traditions as widely as possible, as we are convinced that spreading this knowledge also has the potential to suppress anti-Semitism and its associated negative views. The government supports the broadest possible and objective dissemination of historical facts and phenomena related to anti-Semitism in public and non-governmental educational institutions, thereby reinforcing the fight against anti-Semitism. It was largely due to the Hungarian government's firm stance against anti-Semitism that by the unanimous decision of 31 countries, Hungary was awarded the chairmanship of the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, the IHRA, in 2015 and 16, with a high international recognition of Jewish and non-Jewish organizations and personalities. As a result of the chairmanship's year-long endeavors and lobbying in EU institutions, EU and IHRA member states, the EU's draft data protection legislation was amended in line with IHRA commitments. Now the text of the EU's general data protection regulation, the GDPR, includes a specific reference to the Holocaust, which ensures researchers free access to Holocaust-related materials throughout the European Union, thereby making sure that the Holocaust does not get forgotten, which was not the case with the original text. In addition, the Hungarian government has adopted the guidelines of the working definition of anti-Semitism developed by IHRA. The criminal code also criminalizes the use of authoritarian symbols, violence against a member of a community, incitement against the community, and public denial of the crimes of national socialist or communist regimes. The prosecution and the court are increasingly finding the offender guilty. In addition to punishing them, the decisions prescribe special measures for the offenders, such as visiting Holocaust memorial or reading books on the subject. In the case of hate speech, the enforcement of claims is facilitated by the fact that any member of a racial or religious community may assert their personal rights, even if not they, but their community is seriously or unjustifiably harmed. And this right is guaranteed at the highest constitutional level in our fundamental law. Taking into account Hungary's commitments to the European Union and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, the Prime Minister's office monitored domestic hatred events, in particular anti-Semitic manifestations, and concluded a research agreement with the Brussels-based Institute of the Action and Protection League. Our results are also confirmed by reports of independent organizations. According to a report prepared by the Action and Protection League, the issue of anti-Semitism, like everywhere in Europe, is present in Hungary, but the number of materializations is decreasing year by year. According to the report, the number of crimes committed in hate speech category nearly halved in 2017 compared to 2015. The 2018 report concludes that in contrast to European trends, the number of anti-Semitic hate acts in Hungary decreased in 2018. At the end of this year, 2018, the European Agency for Fundamental Rights published its report, which examined the results of a comprehensive study of hate crimes and discrimination against Jews in 12 European countries. Based on this, Hungary is one of the countries with a lower risk of anti-Semitism, and the Hungarian data is most, in most respects more favorable than the average of the 12 European countries surveyed. It is important to note that the severity of atrocities cannot be compared to what we have been hearing about in Western Europe on a regular basis. Our synagogues are not attacked by armed men. There is no need to secretly invite worshippers for Shabbat services. And our Jewish compatriots can proudly wear their kippahs on the streets. 
The attacks were isolated cases in Hungary, and even the vast majority of the atrocities against persons were committed by Western European tourists visiting our country. The decline in incidents is certainly positive, and we deem it as a long-lasting achievement that the Holocaust denial has almost completely disappeared from public life in recent years. The Hungarian government endeavors to maintain relations, constructive relations with both domestic and international Jewish organizations, thus promoting the security of Jews in Hungary. We may say that Hungary is one of the safest countries in Europe, where Jewish culture, according to the leaders of the local Jewish community, is enjoying currently a renaissance. Dear ladies and gentlemen, Stelo, Wallenberg, Slavic, and the rest of the rescuers did not hesitate to put their lives at risk, but saved who could be saved. There are always fewer rescuers than the perpetrators and the indifference. However, as the Talmud says, whoever saves a life, it is considered as if he saved an entire world. The way we remember the past and the way we act in the present also determine our future. As long as we can raise a generation that can become a hero in difficult situations, our word is not lost.